Hi, I'm Tish. This is Tish. Welcome to this greasy spoon. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to clean a mirror. I feel I should do a disclaimer now and say that if you have a really large mirror, like bigger than yourself with your arms stretched right out, you're going to need a different process of cleaning that mirror. You might need to have a ladder or a stack of bricks or a really tall person to help with that cleaning process so as long as you are able to reach all the corners of the mirror using your body to its full potential then this video is for you first things first you're going to need the mirror the mirror that you want to clean the next thing you're going to need thing number two some window and glass cleaner you might think, why do I need to buy window and glass cleaner? Can't I just use some anti-vac? Well, you can. However, window and glass cleaner is designed not to smear and streak. Third thing you're going to need is a cloth, a soft cloth, not too bristly or hard because glass scratches. Next, you want to take your mirror and either squirt some cleaner onto the mirror or Take your cloth and squirt some cleaner into the cloth. We're going to do way number one. Oh, so get your cloth in there and start wiping away the grime. Get into the corners with your soft cloth. I've got some bits down here that need some more product. So this time I'm going to squirt into the cloth. Take that bit that you've squirted onto and use that I've got a bit of dirt here on the frame don't feel refrained from using any leftover product to help clear that away yeah so for those stubborn stains just add a bit more product it will help it go away any stain that's really really stubborn perhaps have a better look at it and think did I do something is that really a stain or have a broken the mirror have I scratched it up in some way unfortunately then the only way to clear that is to get a new mirror once you've been cleaning it with the cloth and everything then be careful not to put your hands on it so that you keep the mirror nice and clean and there you have it a cleaned mirror you might think that's great Tish but I want to use a product that is not that weird color green and is more organic and hopefully environmentally friendly well i will post more videos in the future using perhaps more traditional methods alternative cleaning techniques that use perhaps more everyday organic natural products that are more friendly to aquatic and marine life this was one way of doing it and we've got a clean mirror to show for it thank you so much for joining me for this video today it's bye from me tish bye Bye. Bye. Last thing. Now your mirror is beautiful and clean, you can easily apply those things that you want to apply using a mirror with. Such as makeup. Look how clean that mirror. You can see every little detail. That is a horrible colour.